Everyone Gamers, Avatrix here, and on my last video, a lot of you guys were saying that you wanted to see some burning videos, so I do have this one, and then another one that I have in store, I'll probably put that one for tomorrow, but in this one, Finisher here started a rally, and it was put in our announcement chat, if you don't already have one, you should definitely put some sort of announcement chat where you leave the notifications on and you only put something there whenever there's going to be a rally or somebody's being rallied, etc. That way you have a way to alert everybody in the guild because a lot of times if you have a notification chat like this and then you just put a lot of nonsense in there, people are going to turn off the notifications and then it's just, it becomes pretty useless. So if you don't already have that, which from what I understand most guilds do, but not every single one. It is absolutely beneficial if you do it the right way. Now on this one, we were rallying this person Golgotha or Golgotha? I, I don't know how to say it, but essentially he was caught with his pants down and as you can already see, his hero was Trickster. So that is already one main thing that you can pick out Whenever their leader is Trickster, you already know that nine times out of nine times, they don't know what they're doing, okay? I don't really care what kind of excuse you have to have Trickster as your leader. It is always a bad idea. You always have a better choice, and I don't want to hear about, no, we're free to play. No, you never use Trickster as your leader because, first of all, it just looks bad. And second of all, it's just a, it's just really bad, okay? So please, don't ever have Trickster as your leader. No, you don't have to have him as your leader to use the research boost. I've seen a lot of people do that, like, oh, well, I'll put him as my leader so I can use the research boost. That's not how any of this works, okay? So please, don't ever do it. Now, we have five seconds until the rally hits. I believe all the speed-ups were done just on time. There is the first one, and then we're just waiting on that last one, and there we go. Here we go. So we uh, we got him at 177 million might to begin with, and after this rally hits, BAM! Now he is down to 139. Now that, that freaking hurts, okay? Look at that, 1.7 million troops all gone within a matter of 5 minutes. Now that hurts. Now check out, check out his wall. He's got two siege heroes with a trickster. Okay, this is what I mean by when you see something like this, when you see a trickster as the leader, it already is telling you that this person probably doesn't know anything that they're doing. So it's time for you to take advantage of that. Now this next rally, again, I was not leading it or anything like that because I wasn't in game when it started it. But Mixo was the one that found this target and it was put in the chat. So I went ahead and logged in. And I believe we were going complete uh, range on the first rally. And here we are. Now, here's a quick, a quick few pointers. If you're not going to be leading the rally and you're porting in like we are doing here. If somebody is rallying and they're telling you, hey... This is what I want. If you are not rallying or attacking or anything like that, please do not scout the person that is being rallied. First of all, even if you scout them and you get the report, you're gonna do nothing with it because you're not the one leading the rally. And on, unless you're a, a, the usual rally leader, okay, and maybe you need to give the person that's rallying pointers or just something like that, you have no reason to scout, okay? Once the rally hits, you're going to get a scout. Uh, well, I mean, hopefully you'll get a scout, because if not, that's usually a bad thing. Uh, because once you scout, it gives them a notification, and every single notification, especially when you're rallying, can potentially get this person's attention, and then what's going to happen is they're going to log in, and they're going to shield, or change gears, or whatever so if you are scouting do not do it unnecessarily I say that to say this this person here had no guild okay so when you see a person with no guild that means that no one but them is getting a notification that they're getting rallied because when you usually rally somebody in a guild the whole guild is alerted and then the guild tries to wake them up whether it's by announcement chat or calling them or whatever but this person 
is guildless so only they know that they're gonna get rallied now i had this scout from before so no i didn't pour it in and then scouted uh and for some reason i don't know what it is people are going from a t1 mass t1 fascination to now i guess the fascination the new trend if you will is t2 like you you have to understand okay you do not build mass t1 or mass t2 before you have a really good army okay and what i mean by that is a good combination of tier fours and tier threes why is that well if you're a solo trap then maybe you can do that you know just build mass t1s or maybe mass t2 and you'll be okay but when you're facing off against a rally okay t2s are not gonna be that strong okay especially if you go mass t2 if those t2s the equivalent of those t2s you can turn it into t4 or t3 it's gonna be more beneficial to you now the only thing against that argument is if you are specifically going to be a trap okay but to do that you need to have the gear to back it up the jewels to back it up and then the heroes to back it up i see a lot of people uh watch videos of this person having like a ton of t1s or a ton of t2 and then they think oh well i can do that but they don't they don't realize that there's the gear matters the heroes matter the jewels matter and if you can't match it you're not gonna have the same result so please stop doing t1s and t2 mass army before you have an actual real army okay okay thank you here we go with the hit three million dead on the first hit he started with nine million which when you're cutting construction gear probably no war talents that nine million goes really really quick especially if it's somebody that can really hurt you that has the gear to hurt you so there is their losses the t2s we just shredded through them like i said they're not very useful without a real army and even if you have a real solid army if you're caught in the wrong talents in the wrong gear and offline plus no guild <laughs> you're, yeah you're gonna have a bad day a bad day indeed so we're gonna go ahead and go hero cannoneers once again and this time i know like i'm thinking okay so last time we killed off about three million this time we're probably gonna we're probably gonna destroy this man right here's the thing though unfortunately when you're rallying there's this thing that you have to wait five minutes and he shields he freaking shields like i know a lot of people are just like well what do you expect them to do not shield listen if you have ever led rallies when they shield you still feel like uh why did you do that like yes the sensible thing to do is to shield but when you're leading the rally that's the worst thing that you can see is a shield unless you get captured i mean no, no, that could arguably be, be a little bit worse but as you can tell with the fight right here one thing to note a lot of people don't realize is if you ever send full ranged to a rally that has a wall specifically that is going to turn into infantry they're going to charge out and that is automatically going to turn into infantry phalanx so you can use that to your advantage for instance if they have only cavalry or only range like for instance a dark nest then you can just send complete range and that is going to make the cavalry go in front just an fyi a lot of people uh, may not know that uh, but here you are three million casualties could have been more but unfortunately he shielded more burning videos tomorrow appreciate you guys for watching and until later